In case you didn't know, Pirates of the Caribbean 5 is on its way to AMC theaters everywhere on July 10th, 2015. Johnny Depp is already confirmed to return, and now the hunt is on for a new director. Rumors are now circulating that Disney has a short list they're considering for the director's chair. That includes Frederick Bond, the directing duo Joachim Roning and Espen Sandberg, and Snow White and the Huntsman's Rupert Sanders. The film is set to go into production near the end of 2013, but Disney wants a director attached within the next few weeks. John, do you think any of these names jump out at you? I think this is a really interesting list. Mm -hmm. This is a, a fact, like the directors uh, of uh, Contiki and stuff like that, that's a really interesting list. I do, however, like the name, I gotta admit, of uh, Rupert Sanders. Um, when you look at a film now, love or hate Snow White and the Huntsman, and I wasn't a big fan of Snow White and the Huntsman, I didn't hate it. Um, you can see the tone is there, you can see what they're going for, and I think that kind of gives him a leg up on all this. Now, I'm sure part of his contract negotiations are how many of the stars on his film does he get to sleep with? Um, <laughs> wow. I, I don't know where that came from. Uh, but I, I actually think, um, while I, I do believe that both Bond uh, and, and Sandberg and Ronin are, would be decent choices, I do think that Rupert is, is probably the way to go. So, uh, Dan, what do you think? You stole my joke. That was very <laughs> my joke. It was so obvious. I figured you'd leave it for me. Oh, boy. Oh, good Lord. I can't, I just, I can't believe that they're making another Pirates movie. I mean, the last one with the mermaids, that was just terrible. I mean, what what's going on? Can, can these movies, John? This is a serious question I have for you. Right. Can can these franchises ever just end? Can they ever just say, you know what? We did a great job. Let's move on to something else. Let's not reboot it. Let's let's just leave it alone. Well, the problem is, and I, like I'm with you. I mean, the last one was bad. Although I will say, I did think Pirates of the Caribbean four was probably the quote unquote best one since Pirates of the Caribbean one. I think that all the ones after one I think have been terrible. I love the first one so much and I just think they've gone downhill since. But number four was better than two and three, I think at any rate. So basically we'd have to wait till seven for well, it to be good again. Yeah, here, yeah, maybe, is that the pattern? <laughs> probably, they're slowly ramping up now. I, the problem is that the audience keeps telling Disney mm -hmm. or studios, we want more. How do they tell them that? by spending their money to go see them. And when they spend the money, that is the audience saying, we want more and you know, studios are a business and they'll go, okay, mm -hmm. if the audience is saying this is what you want, then this is what we're gonna give you. And until you know, a Pirates of the Caribbean movie flops, they're gonna keep cranking these out, man. Well, if it's gotta happen, then I think I should be the director. Let's make something good. I, I will <laughs> let us start the campaign right yes. now. Right now, Dan Devey for Pirates of the Caribbean 6. Yes. No, no offense, but I vote Rupert Sanders. Oh, thanks. Sorry. <laughs> Great. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and we'll keep you up to date on all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to find out about our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.